it's very shady and and i think you, you you know you talk about them misleading the courts i mean i was just in in the high court alone when they ruled that they accept these assurances i, I was shocked because you know the the legal team had cited so many cases uh hamza mendoza uh just showing you know that you can't trust these things and they still believe them i i couldn't i couldn't understand the judge's reasoning and i've you know, went through it multiple times and it seems like almost like they accept that yes if you read the diplomatic note given by the americans they never really violate it because they don't they never promised not to do xyz therefore it's not a violation i mean <laughs> i mean i think that the, the way to understand these things i think is you know shifting the blame can hmm. they get away with it can the UK courts get away with accepting these assurances? Um, and the US government provided an excuse um, in spite of the findings of the medical experts that Julian was highly likely to be driven to suicide if he's extradited. Um, and that uh, the evidence shows that he's highly likely to be held in isolation, the type of isolation that would kill him. How do they get away with that? Well. Um, they, you know, the U.S. formulates assurances in a way um, that lets the U.K. courts off the hook. This is the yeah. game that is being played constantly. And the game that is being played, you know, we're talking about highly sophisticated um, methods that have been developed, uh, you know, not just against Julian, but in order to, to game the system. 